How do you save a penalty? Do you guess or do you react? Penalties can be a game-defined situation which occur more often than not, meaning that goalkeepers need to be able to learn those ways of saving a penalty. Goalkeepers have around a 30% chance of saving a penalty, heavily favouring the penalty taker. So in this video I will show you how to save more penalties and give you tips when saving penalties. Penalties for a goalkeeper is a game of probability and psychology. Firstly, we will go over the psychological battle against the penalty taker before pairing that with probability to save the penalty. Before the penalty is taken, you must stay calm, taking slow breaths. Focus more and gather as much information as possible. As a goalkeeper, you don't have any pressure in that situation, whereas the taker has immense pressure on the back. Firstly, identify who is taking the penalty and try to waste as much time as possible to make the taker overthink or get angry. Notice their body language and see how they act so they can influence their mind negatively towards the penalty. If the penalty is awarded and the ball is in your hands or in your whereabouts, grab as quickly as possible and hold it within your hands for as long as possible, trying to increase the nerves in the taker, also showing you are in control. This deflects their focus trying to get the ball, giving them less time to think on where they will shoot. If they have the ball, just approach them, get right up into their face and talk to the taker, putting them off as much as possible. Just watch Martinez be the king of the mental battle. As you are about to leave to your line, do a final scene before walking back, stare it into the eyes and smile. Try to do everything within your limits so you also don't receive a card. Once on your line, you must know the rules of the penalty. Don't have both your feet past the line when diving and can't hit the crossbar or post anymore. So instead, have your feet behind the line as this way the referee can't tell you off or allow a retake if you step in front of the line whilst diving. But also this gives you a chance for a better push off when diving. When in the goal, move chaotically, trying to put the taker off while still talking to the player. You put them off, wins the mental warfare, increasing your chance of saving a penalty or they're missing. However, according to new rules, you're not allowed to move chaotically whilst on your goal line. Pretty stupid if you ask me. Before the penalty, look at where the attacker is looking in the goal to increase your chances of saving a penalty. But this doesn't always work with everyone, so remember that. Look at the players around the box, ready to run in in case of a rebound. See if there's more players on one side of the box than the other, as this may indicate where the taker may decide to shoot. Thanks to their teammates, knowing the taker, as the taker is stepping back, they may be looking at where they will place the ball. Once in position, you look at the stance. If they have a wide run up, then chances are they would place the ball into the same side as the striking leg, due to the lack of control if they were to hit the ball across the body to the other side. If they have a narrow run up, then they will most likely shoot to the opposite side of the striking leg, as if they were to hit it to the other side using the narrow run up, it would be very weak and difficult due to the hip having to overly rotate to place the ball into the other side. However, if they are around a 45 degree angle to the ball, then as a goalkeeper, it is difficult to read their cues as they could place the ball anywhere. If their run up is short, then it will be a quick shot, but accurate shot. But if it's a longer run up, then they may either cause tension with a slow run up or run fast towards the ball for a powerful shot. If the run up is slow, the result will be an accurately placed penalty. But if the run up is fast, then it will be a hard but less accurate shot. Although they may be preparing with a wide or narrow angle for the run up, they may curve the run up slightly to adjust the shot. If they curve the run up inwards, then they will probably place the ball to the same side as the planted leg. If they curve the run up outwards, then chances are they will place the ball to the same side as the striker leg. The final clue you could gather is a planted foot because it may point to where they will be shooting. This may be difficult to notice due to the little time you have before they shoot. And as they are about to plant their final leg, you'd step to the side you think they aren't going and push off into the upper direction, gaining more distance. This way, you would still not be stepping with both feet past the line. You would fake a step to one side because this may put off the taker, making them change their shooting area towards your diving area. When diving, you want to do a mid dive to be able to save shots which are going mid, low and slightly higher above you. When diving, dive slightly diagonally to increase your save potential. If you reach this bit in the video, comment save. After the penalty, if you parry it, get up as fast as possible for a possible rebound, just in case, and don't start celebrating until the ball is cleared. If you catch the ball and your team is losing, hit them fast on the counter attack, but if you are winning, 
then slow the game down. Give your team more breathing room. If you don't save a penalty, then who cares? The taker should be scoring from 15 yards, especially when they are uncontested for the ball. So after all of that, do you guess or do you react? Well, guess. It's almost impossible to save penalty reacting to the shot. 